Well, hello everybody. My name is Quinn. For today's talk, we're going to be discussing about the, some of the biggest health problems in the world right now called obesity or overweight. Everybody must have known about obesity and its dangerous or deadly health risk. In the past, just on the path, obesity is something that's not even think as a health problem, but today it is one of the deadliest thing that could lead to so much more diseases. Well, for today's talk, we're going to be talking about that. Well, first, we should know that obesity in the years of the 90s, people consider it as a health problem, but for but in the past decades ago, people have started to actually consider it as a deadly kind of health problem. Obesity could even lead into a lot of other health risks such as diabetes 1 or diabetes 2. People could have heart stroke or even cancer due to obesity. You could See that just these days in the world's population, the amount of kids that got obesity have increased for a significantly 60%, which made obesity as some of the biggest kind of health problem in the world today. So, how to actually understand whether or not are you having obesity and when are you overweight? Well, the World Health Organizations have included BMI as the best way to calculate a person's whether or not are they overweight or obese. People who are obese are mainly from 30 BMI or above. And if you are from 25 to 29.9%, then you are just a little <clears throat> overweight. You could easily find out if your PMI is good or bad by using your weight in kilogram and divide with your head, minus your own head in meters. So that you can find out your BMI numbers, which is something very easy. Maybe, for example, if you are 40, if you're 64 kilograms and you are about 1.5 meters tall, then probably your BMI should be from about uh, 29, which is still not considered a beast. But this Calculator is not something always so correct. In some situations, if you're an athlete or if you are like a boxer or a weightlifter, probably your muscles could also take up your BMI. So for some people, having a high BMI number is still not obese, while others could consider could be considered obese even when their number is still really low. So when you'll be obese, actually we have that be in mind to predict whether or not are we obese or not, but it's not always accurate. So how can we actually know it right? We could actually predict ourselves as obese when we find that the amount of exercise that we do is not enough. Our the food that our eating is just so 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 slow to get reversed into our body, and you can find out this by searching more. So, what are some tips to stay away from obese? A lot of ways could be held out. The World Health Organization is pointed out that kids like us should exercise for about one hour a day 
while adults should exercise for 2.5 hours a day or more. And a lot of people are not just following this kind of practice. So be sure to exercise. Also, follow a great fat diet. Eat in the diet where you find it best for you. If you are a vegetarian, then yeah, eat vegetables. Try to sometimes conclude up with beans or like um, soybeans, something that actually not just bring you uh, vitamins. Also, try to make sure that if you are a meat eater, just like me, then try to stay away from too much kinds of meat, especially pork and and cashews meat. So try to look and actually control your own diet. If you are a sweet eater, then try to remove sweet away from yourself. I mean, it's okay to sweet, but don't overuse it. So for today, we've talked about obesity. Some of the biggest health problems in the world that could be some of the deadliest one. Well, I hope today's talk really did teach you something. Goodbye and see you next time.